guys, welcome back to another episode of The Hunter. Today we're playing on Whiteheart Island, hunting for whitetail, elk, maybe some coyote. And if we maybe run into it, maybe blacktail deer. But, anyways, we're probably just gonna kill what we find. And let's get into it. Well, today I'm gonna actually show you what I'm bringing. I'm going to bring my 7mm Magnum break action rifle with 30 bullets just in case you never know what's going to happen. Um, my Parker Python compound bow with 30 arrows with the 5 pin rangefinder bow sight. And the sight for this is the 12 by 50 millimeter rifle scope in black. And this one is the 357 revolver, black, and there's 20 rounds for it, along with the 2 6 times 20 millimeter handgun scope, silver. And then the only other stuff we should need is our deer grunt collar our elk bugle collar and predator jackrabbit collar along with obviously our dog buddy which I don't know if he was in the last video but I got a dog he's gonna be wearing the scent hound founder collar and the dog vest alpine camo I remember that Anyways, let's get right into it. Come on, buddy. I feel like in the top right, buddy is level 16 and doesn't have much experience to go before he levels up to 17. I know I have the wrong camouflage for this area, but... I don't have any good camouflage besides a ghillie suit, and that scares literally like everything. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna go like this, all the way up through here, up to here. No, I need to... No, drawing, stop. And if we have time, we're gonna go from here to here, and maybe here. So, yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do right now. Um... Sorry. Okay, now I can talk. Um, like I was saying, there's a lot of stuff to do, and we need to do it quick, because if you can see in the bottom right of my hunter mate, which is the thing I'm holding in my hands, it looks like a GPS. Uh, it's 5.06, and the deer, such as the white tail and the black tail on this map, are a lot less active between 9 and 2, which is 14 in this game because the developers are from Sweden. Uh, if you guys want to know who really made this game and uh, a lot about it, you can go to the wiki or you can try to go to the Expansive Worlds website and get some information. They're a sub company of Avalanche Studios as most of you probably know. I know that buck called from right over there but I want to try to get to the stand first without spooking him. And it might work. 
after all, not the best player. My biggest whitetail is probably 172, I think. And I don't think that's too good. So. And that's why I'm trying to hunt whitetail. If you guys have the game and you want me to hunt something specific, <coughs> leave it down below and I'll try to get to it. Um, if you want to see more content on this game, let me know by hitting that like button. I'm doing what you can to help support the channel. And if you've actually watched this far on my video, then thank you, because you're probably one of the longest watchers. And I'm probably just going to bring you guys back right as soon as we get to that stand. Alright guys, we're just making it up to the stand, and the buck just called from right over there. I'm going to tell our dog to stay. <coughs> and... We're going to see if we can get this buck to come up to our sand and see if we can get it with our Parker Python. So we don't spook anything else in the area. But obviously, if it's a big buck, I'm going to want to shoot it with a rifle. But you got to do what you got to do in this game. And... If I see a big buck, I'm going to want it. I don't want to risk losing it. But then again, entertainment value is probably a bit better. If... I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but entertainment value is probably a bit better than serious factor. But I like to play this game seriously most of the time because it's fun and... It's almost like real life for some reason. But anyways, I'll call you guys, or I'll get you guys back as soon as I call this buck in. Alright guys, we're back and the buck is inbound. He actually looks fairly decent. Maybe an 8 point, I can't really get a good view because of this fog. And... I'm thinking he's gonna score pretty well with his wide rack. Some pretty good tangs, it looks like. Yeah, that's an 8 pointer. But he's only 50 to 80 grams, which I don't know if they're anything like mule deer, but that's not too good for mule deer. And of course, there's gonna be some elk in the background. If I could spot them for the XP before this buck comes here. It would be great because I don't have good spotting for these guys. I do have good spotting for Rocky Mountain Oak though, I think I have them level 5. fairly decent buck. If he would come in straight though and stop somewhere and good. Alright, that was fairly easy. Once again, Parker Python with the 5 pin rangefinder sight. My dog held up fairly well there. I don't know what that glitch was, but I saw something in my eye freak out. I'm guessing 170s is pretty good, but I don't know. I haven't really gotten into white hit, white tail. 105, right lung, heart. Not bad. Um, I'll be back when I call something in. I'm 
Guys, we're back, and as you can see, five female Roosevelt elk coming right up to the stand. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit mucusy today. <coughs> Goddamn. But we're gonna play a little mini game. I think how many we can get with our Parker Python without the others noticing. That's only if we get good shots, though, because if you don't get a good shot, it's going to spook and scare off all the rest of them. So right now, it's doing pretty good, because these three are going off, and this one's coming in way before that one. Might as well get ready. Do a little bit of a call. What's that back there? Just a white tail, though. No, stop, 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 stop. You're too close. One. Oh, my friend just fell over and died. What will I do? Nope, not in these guys' minds. Please stop moving. You're not cool, Elk. You're not cool. You're not cool. Damn it, that was probably a single lung. She was getting way too close and I had to take a shot. Now you can see how these elk ran off in like every single direction and they're gonna spook everything they run into. Pretty good shot, looks like a long. We have our dog track it, yep, lungs and heart. Come on, dude, you're only 16, we should have a problem. Should be dead right over here in the tree line. I wasn't really paying attention to where it went. But if it's a single longer, then. Well, which it definitely is, because it's running. Then it's gonna take a while. It can go down really short, or it can take a pretty long time. It's basically up to the game. Anyways, I'll be right back if I find it, or if anything interesting happens. As you can tell from my dog barking, the elk is right here. Good boy, buddy. Definitely looks like a good shot. Let's collect her. Shoulder blade and right one. It must have really. If you can see my mouse, I don't know if you can. It must have hit her like right up here and went right down to there. That's about as far as it would have went. <clears throat> if I would have gotten a greater angle on her, though, she definitely wouldn't have made it to far at all. As you can see, we came from there to here. I don't know if you can see my mouse, so we came from this stand down to here. So, I, this episode's taking pretty long, so I'm probably just gonna go down to this stand and see what's up. And that'll be it. And then the next episode. Damn, dog can not be here back when my dog shuts up. Alright, guys, if you made it to. I, okay, I messed it up pretty bad. Okay. But I'm just gonna take a little break to 
see who's watching, and if you're watching, take a little break from the video, go down to the comments, and comment. Let me think. Comment. Roosevelt. That kind of goes with what we just did. And Roosevelt is spelt R O O S E V E L T. Go comment that down in the comments to tell me you've been watching for this long. And while you're at it, you might as well like the video, you know? Anyways, I'll be right back with this next stand, and maybe that dough. Alright guys, back at the field, and, or not back at the field, but to the new, we're at the new stand. And, I'm going to admit it, spooked the rose out elk in here, as you can see the tracks down there. But there is still a white tail doe. And apparently a Roosevelt elk. I can probably get both of them. <coughs> if this Roosevelt elk cooperates, I can get both of them. Which she seems to be doing. Do this. It doesn't come in too fast. I know this isn't going to be very good as in content because there's so many females, but there's not much you can do about that. Um, that was a pretty good shot, actually. I think that was about 20 meters. I wasn't paying attention. But I'm hoping for something to come in. And by something, I mean either a big bull elk, a big white tail buck. But for some reason, it doesn't feel like that's going to happen. With all these females around, you'd think there would be, but you know. There's nothing you can really do about games spawning. Unless you're literally a developer. Uh, I don't know where this dough is right now. But, I'm going to bring you back when she comes in or when something else comes in. Alright guys, it's been a while. And, actually no it hasn't, I'm lying. But, there's nothing coming in. I've been calling for a little bit. I, th I I don't remember how long, but it's not. It's pretty dry, and also I think I messed up the audio like halfway through the video, so I don't want to make you guys suffer through that. And, and I really don't think there's going to be much coming in. To be honest, I might just kill this doe and call it. Because I ruined the audio for the video, because I need to check that. I can see the doe. Pretty sure you guys might be able to too. Right behind this tree. Let me spot her. Oh, come on. Let me spot her. She stopped right behind the tree, just my luck. Come out. I'll freaking drop her from here if she would not behind this not be behind this tree. Come 
want. This is gonna make me angry. <laughs> okay, there she is. Come on. Not too hard, about maybe 30 meters. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> But I'm definitely going to call it here because, as you can see, there's only female things around here right now. And I'm pretty sure I messed up the audio. But if you guys still enjoyed, please give this a huge thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter at ii underscore firesparkhd. Don't ask why. It's a terrible name. But I did it. It's 25, 24 meters that I shot this doe from. And if you enjoyed, have a nice day. If you didn't enjoy, don't have a nice day. Anyways, see ya.